Come on, lads, for the ancestors. Cursings, Curse Lord Todd here with another exciting unboxing video. Today I have from the Warhammer Commemor Com <laughs> Commemorative Series Leagues of Votan, Carl Yoit, Grindok for Warhammer 40,000. This is the new uh, anniversary model for uh, Games Workshop. So f if you go to a Warhammer store or a Games Workshop store on their store anniversary, you can order. This guy, along with uh, Thorik Linson, but uh, this unboxing video, we're going to be doing the Carl here, and then we'll do another unboxing video for our Arconet Emerald. Uh, probably put these up at the same time. So here we go. Let's go ahead and look on the back, see what we got here. So he's unique to the other Carls because he has the plasma sword. Um, I do like the feeded uh, bolter there that he has. Let's go ahead and open him up, take a look inside. <clears throat> All right, so let's take a look at the screw first. I'm expecting it to be really simple. Of course, we got our, well, that's a 40 millimeter base there. Get a closer view on this one. All right, so. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a Leagues of Otan Carl. Very nice, though. I mean, different pose, so definitely add some variety to your Leagues of Otan. And of course, he has his own unique head there. Um, of course, if you want, you can replace it with a regular Carl's helmet. From the regular kit but I don't know I kind of like his head I think I'll, I'll keep it like that all right so there's the miniature let's take a look at the assembly guide and just flip through here real quick I'm assuming it's gonna be pretty straightforward yeah nothing, nothing really nothing really shocking or, or really advanced here that I see just another cool looking model which you know I like now, here is in something interesting. We have rules for him in Warhammer Legends. I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. On this page, you will find additional war, war gear options for the Leagues of Votan. Use alongside Codex Leagues of Votan. It allows you to use this option in your games. The rules here can be used for any types of play. Open, narrative, or matched. Ooh, that's nice. Warhammer Legends will not form part of our ongoing balance review for the wider Warhammer 40,000 game. And we don't recommend Legends units for competitive tournaments. This means that event organizers and attendees alike can guarantee everything they're gaming with is easily available to everyone and has been subject to the same rigorous balance and playtesting process. Of course, organizers are free to specify that they will be including Legends rules if they like, allowing the use of the full range at the event. <clears throat> so add the following to a Carl's data sheet. This model's Forge Rot power Plasma Axe can be replaced with one Forge Rot Plasma Sword. Um, I will say there is an asterisk here, so let's look, read that at the bottom first. Note that if you are using points values, this warrior does not cost any additional points. Okay, that's good to know. So it's a melee melee strength user, AP 3, negative 3, damage 2. Each time the bearer fights it makes an additional attack with this weapon. That's good to know. I may use this in one of my in one of our battle reports. So that's really cool that they, you know, even though it's legends, uh, but they allow use for for any any 40k army if you want if uh, your opponent 
is okay with it pretty much. So that is it for this unboxing video, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get Yoit here uh, put together and put on the turntable, and I will see you next time. Please also make sure you look for our other video on Torak Linsen here. So uh, that will be coming out probably the same time. And then also check out uh, Garner Creations YouTube channel. That is our sister website or YouTube channel for video game videos. So make sure you check that out. Also help support our channel by hitting that like button, subscribing, and hitting that notification bell. Thank you. And see you next time on Curse Lords Tabletop Gaming.